Back with Bobby and JG Radio, we have Ms. Patricia Jimenez. She is here to talk about the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner that uh, was your father started? Yes. How long ago? It, my father started this in 1979, so we're celebrating our 38th anniversary this year. Mm, that's how old I am. Yeah, ah, 79. so you were born in 79. I was. <laughs> and so you've been doing this for 38 years here in San Antonio. How did it start and, uh, and how have you continued it for this long? Well, my father wanted to do something special in gratitude for his blessings. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he was a businessman. And so he thought, well, what can I do to really serve the community? And he had a very fond admiration for mm -hmm. senior citizens. And he knew they were often alone and didn't have a place to go. And so um, he said, I want to do a Thanksgiving dinner for them. What more appropriate time than Thanksgiving to be uh, grateful yeah. for your blessings and at the same time give back. So he started the first one and uh, we uh, he actually, I was only a little girl, but he actually uh, had about 100 to, 100 to 200 senior citizens attend. Mm -hmm. And so uh, from there, the first one, the very, very first one. And, you know, at first people were like, nobody's going to come. Everyone's mm -hmm. with their families. Free food. And, 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 <laughs> and what he said is you watch. There are people in yeah. need. There are people who are alone, yeah. especially seniors. And no one should be alone on Thanksgiving. And fast forwarding to now, 2017, we're getting ready to prepare um, 25,000 meals to serve not just seniors. So but from 100 to 25,000. Yes, and 4,000 volunteers are needed to make this all happen. And so, so, who are these? Just people from San Antonio that just give their time to, to make yes, this Yes, Bobby, people give their time. I, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. As you all well know, San Antonio is a very giving community. Yeah. And so, like, within 24 hours, we actually filled up all of our slots. I think we're just a reflection of Tim Duncan, actually, when it's yeah. all said and done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a running joke that we have here at the station, that <laughs> Tim Duncan represents San Antonio. No, but let's talk about some of these numbers. Um that we're talking about in the green room. So 9,400 pounds of turkey. Yes. We're talking about 6,250 6, pounds of stuffing. Yes, it's a lot. Where does all this food come from? Well, we have... H-E-B. Uh, we have it's various... It's three. It's all three. <laughs> Speaking of H-E-B, have you seen those H-E-B commercials with Tim Duncan? No, those are <laughs> good. Okay. They are good. <laughs> They're very creative. But um, actually, we have a lot of support from the community. Mm -hmm. um, we have Judson ISD. Mm -hmm. They actually donate... Uh, most of our yams, along with Toyota motor, motor Manufacturing. And then we have area school kids from Northside ISD that give us all of our cranberry sauce. So all the kids bring one or two cans. And for those people that think, oh, I can't, you know, my little donation won't make a difference. It does. It adds up. Ask the volunteers that have to open up all those cans. Mm -hmm. We One by one, they mm -hmm. open up all the cans, and it's really, truly a community event. And, of course, we couldn't do it without the support of our big sponsors, mm -hmm. such as Walmart, who is our presenting sponsor. So I'm very grateful for them. Without them, this would not be possible. Yeah. For sure. And let's <laughs> talk about this, so how, how people can, can get involved. So how do you become a volunteer? Well, the good news is that we have plenty of volunteers. Um, the bad news is that it shut down on November 1st. I mean, we didn't shut down, but we pretty much got all of our you volunteers at that point. Sure. But the good news is that we have plenty of volunteers. So, so, so let's talk about how people can get involved. So we were talking about what can $5 do for this? $5 can actually provide a meal for two senior citizens or two homeless individuals or anyone attending Five dollars can feed two people on Thanksgiving Day, and not just provide them with a wonderful, delicious Thanksgiving mm -hmm. meal, but also the fellowship. Mm -hmm. We like to say that the Raúl Jiménez Thanksgiving dinner is a feast of the heart, mm -hmm. because you're not just there to feed your belly; you're there to feed your soul. So, so we filled up the spots for people to volunteer. Yes, but they can still give money. Where can they give money? They can go to Raúl Jiménez Dinner dot com. It's our website. And uh, they just need to click on the Donate tab, and it'll take them straight through the process. So, again, that's easy. $5. Everyone's got an extra $5 for sure. So, Raul Jimenez, dinner.com, and then donate 5 10 15 50 1000 Yes. 1000 With the hurricane efforts, um, we have found that a lot of people have been uh, giving to so many different causes, and we've seen a little bit of a, a slowdown in our donations. So we definitely ask that if you can sure. give up in November, 
that Starbucks coffee for one day and, you know, donate. We would greatly appreciate it. And we also have our mailing address on the website. So if you want to write a check, if you prefer to do that, you can do it. Uh, you can click on our site and check out where to send it as well. Cool. 38 years running. Raul Jimenez Dinner. Thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back with Bobby and JJ Radio.